Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. Hey, hey, I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday, the 29th of November. Everybody getting settled back into a routine here after a long Thanksgiving weekend that a very dynamic weather system is on the way. And, of course, everybody wants to know, well, it brings severe weather to the state tonight or tomorrow. Let's get in there and take a look. Well, obviously, no severe weather this morning. It's cool. That's the uh, Trustville Sky Camp. Temperatures are in the 40s, so we still have this uh, uh, cool continental stable air in place. And uh, it's going to have to be a quick turnaround to have severe weather tonight or tomorrow, obviously. There's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam that's looking west from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. And downtown Jasper is seen from the King Building. Yeah, really good looking trough out west. Uh, no doubt this will be a system with excellent dynamics and is often the case in the cold weather season. It's the thermodynamics that are questionable for severe weather. And we are in the 40s, Birmingham and Anniston 49, the same for Tuscaloosa and the Shelby County Airport, Gadsden 45, Haleyville 44. Uh, we will likely see uh, low 60s today. And around the nation, you can see that little tongue of warmer air coming up through uh, eastern Texas in advance of the cold front with that big trough. But again, much of the country is pretty chilly this morning. And of course, it's uh, coldest back in the cold air behind that trough with uh, readings in the teens out there. On the watch warning map, Memphis has issued a flash flood watch for their county warning area. That's western Tennessee and north Mississippi. Also got flash flood watches up for parts of uh, uh, western North Carolina, western Virginia, and a whole slew of winter weather advisories for the uh, mountains and then up north in the cold air sector of that thing. But, of course, this is what interests us, the convective outlook for today and tonight, a slight risk of severe weather. That's the standard risk over all of Mississippi, all of Louisiana, and the adjacent parts of Texas, Arkansas, and now into Alabama, really as far east as Birmingham. And uh, this is valid through 12Z tomorrow. That's 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And our greatest concern, it's really late tonight, maybe even after midnight. In fact, probably after midnight. Now, the SPC guys have a fairly uh, decent tornado probability with this outlook. Gets 10% over much of central Mississippi. And more than likely, what happens late tonight, this thing evolves into a squall line, a low-top squall line with hardly any lightning. And there could be some strong winds and maybe an embedded spin-up tornado. And those things, as you know, are very hard to deal with. And they can be very pesky. And then tomorrow, we've got the standard risk over uh, Alabama south of a line from Demopolis to Birmingham to Gadsden. And uh, again, this is valid from 6 o'clock in the morning on. And the greatest risk of severe weather for this part of the state would be in the morning, shifting down into southeast Alabama tomorrow afternoon. And again, we'll get in there and look at the specifics here in just a second. There's the uh, QPF chart, expected rain for the next five days. That's the good thing, beneficial rain. As you can see, the bullseye is about three inches just north of Tuscaloosa. Uh, elsewhere, widespread rains of uh, uh, two inches are likely over north Alabama. So we'll forecast one to two inches for just about everybody, with some spots maybe getting a little over two inches. Let's look at the uh, modeling here. This is the OZGFS at noon today. There's your trough aloft at 500 millibars down below that. The uh, wind's kicking out of the south. Should be pretty breezy today as the gradient tightens up. The uh, cold front well to the west around Dallas. Now let's go to uh, tonight at midnight. There's the uh, surface front. It's on past Little Rock and Shreveport. And again, more than likely what happens, this whole thing evolves into a squall line. And uh, a QLCS, that's the, the hip term we're using now, quasi-linear convective system. And, of course, the greatest problem with that would be the potential for damaging straight-line winds as opposed to tornadoes. But having said that, uh, we, we'll see. Well, we'll look at the uh, – and, by the way, there's tomorrow at noon, and the thing is coming on through here. Um, let's look at the uh, instability values first. This is a surface-based cape tonight at midnight. And you can see there's not much. Uh, this is a classic uh, high shear, low cape deal. And then uh, tomorrow at noon, there is some instability, again, south of the cold front or south of a line from Anniston down to uh, Montgomery and Chatham. And uh, in terms of the inst the shear, there's plenty of that. This is uh, midnight tonight. Shear value is almost off the chart. 
but it's all out of whack, as usually is the case, with the uh, better uh, shear values to the north, the better instability values to the south. And there's a look at tomorrow. The shear values diminish as the uh, system moves on to the southeast. So the bottom line is uh, the, the main chance of severe weather would be from about uh, 10 o'clock to 9 until noon tomorrow for this part of the state, the north-central part. Uh, there could be a few isolated tornadoes, more than likely small spin-ups, that will be very hard to identify within a squall line. And uh, the main issue would be probably strong winds within that squall line. So uh, it's going to be one of those deals where more than likely we'll be up all night tonight watching the radar. There could be a few warnings tonight and tomorrow morning. You just leave the weather radio on. Uh, you know, you might have a warning at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And it could be a tornado warning. But these will not be the big, you know, tornadoes you'd see with an April outbreak. This, uh, these are going to be these small spin-ups that are very hard to deal with. All right, uh, let's go to Wednesday. The whole thing's out of here. This run, uh, not really as cold as recent runs. Um, the guidance here has a high of around 50 on Wednesday. We've seen some runs with highs only in the mid-40s. Uh, but we'll, for now, we'll probably go with upper 40s. Uh, partly sunny, breezy, and cold. And uh, Thursday will be a sunny day. We start the day uh, uh, more than likely below freezing. Upper 20s, something like that. We'll warm up into the upper 50s, and then Friday looks good, sunny and pleasant with uh, highs in the 50s. What about the weekend ahead, you ask? Well, there's Saturday. Everything looks good. Maybe a high close to 60, and Sunday still looks good. Uh, mostly sunny, although moisture is starting to increase. Uh, low 60s are likely. All right, let's go to Monday of next week. Here comes the next little disturbance to the west. This is the uh, 6th of December. Uh, down below that, a surface low develops near Little Rock. And then on Tuesday, the 7th, the GFS has the surface low near Chattanooga with potential for a little snowstorm up there, maybe over Missouri and parts of southern Illinois and Indiana. And that would be a deal with uh, uh, rain down here. And then on the uh, uh, evening of the 7th, the surface low pulls away. And there's some evidence there could be some change over to snow on the backside of that, but wouldn't be a super big deal. Check the uh, European now. It's got a different look. Uh, this is valid again uh, the, the 7th of December, which is uh, Tuesday of next week. It has the surface low instead of being at Chattanooga, closer to Panama City. And that would suggest more of a winter weather threat for North Alabama and Tennessee. So pure model madness out here. We'll keep an eye on that. But one thing or the other, it sure looks cold behind that. The 540 line down to Houston. Looks like a pretty good cold snap following that system. We'll check the end of the forecast on the 14th. The flow goes zonal. The polar jet is to the north. That will shut the cold air to the uh, north of the state. I think changeable is the key word this winter as we kind of look at the season. Uh, probably we'll see a little bit of everything. And I think the next two weeks might be a good example of that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful Monday, and God bless. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.